So as someone who works at VC and has some presence in social media, would you say there's any potential in fundraising through like social media platforms? Yeah, and, and second question also, uh, small ticket investment. Have you ever encountered deals through syndication where uh, like individual investments are made about like a couple thousand each uh, per investor? Uh, is that really a thing and how would that possibly yeah, so I'm part of a couple of syndicates on uh, AngelList, actually. Um, and that's also, I mean, to your first question, uh, you have websites like angel.co, right, where you very much uh, have that kind of co-investment uh, online. You know, you find your co-investors online, you can build relationships with them. Um, for kind of my specific purposes, so far, I haven't really benefited from my social media reach in the venture capital uh, sense or startup acceleration sense because just all my content is very much focused towards management consultants. That's going to change in the future. So I see the benefit uh, having a reach on social media has uh, in general. And that's why I want to align it more with what I do right now. Uh, so that's going to come in the future. And um, I'm also, I think there are quite some synergies between, you know, doing what I do and having a social media reach. So I think um, just also like thinking, uh, thinking very big right now, but if you're a fund and you're able to channel lots of users to different portfolio companies you have, of course there's value in that. Uh, there are multi-million dollars, uh, multi-million dollar companies uh, that just are created because because of social media or because of influencers or Kylie Jenner sending people to buy their lipstick or stuff like that. Huh? So uh, there, there must be some value in that. I think right now it's very early. I think in the future it will be, there will be much more than of it because social media keeps growing. Uh, I don't know whether it's still going to be around in 50 years. You know, I don't know how, how the hell we are going to live in 50 years. But uh, at least in the next years, that's, that's a trend um, to come.